It's Sunday, August 25th, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today's article is, Follow Him. Our opening scripture is taken from Matthew 4, verse 19. It says, And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Hallelujah. Notice what the Lord said in the verse above. Pastor begins, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Your responsibility is to follow him, and he'll make all your dreams come true. Praise God. Oh, follow him, and he'll see to it that you fulfill God's calling and destiny for your life. But how do you follow him? If you had lived in Jesus' day in Israel, you might have thought that following him meant physically accompanying him from street to street, village to village, or town to town. It's however beyond that, Pastor says. Judas, who followed Jesus physically, ultimately betrayed him and lost out with God, proving that following him physically wasn't enough. The first aspect of following Jesus is to follow him in the word, for he is the living word. Praise God. John 1 verse 14 tells us, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. When you follow Him in the Word, you are following Jesus Himself. The written Word is all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Secondly, you must follow Him through the Word. As you study the Word, you'll find Jesus and understand His mindset, His beliefs, and observe His actions. You'll see how He responded to everything. You'll read, for example, how He reacted to a billowing tempest. He demonstrated authority over nature and His ability to bring peace even in the midst of chaos. That we can find in Mark 4, 38-39. Glory to God. Everything about Jesus is revealed in the Word. Learning how He responded in various situations provides valuable insights for our lives. When He got hungry, what did He do? When He felt tired, what did He do? He did all He did to show us how to live. Therefore, we must follow Him in, through, and by the Word. Following him by the word means to act on his word, to do what he says. James 1.22 of the NIV says, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Do what it says. Pastor concludes, Oh dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Or read, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, dear Father, thank you for the privilege to follow Jesus in, through, and by the word. I immerse myself in your word daily. And I'm granted deep insights to understand its mysteries, to understand its deep secrets, and apply the principles and teachings in my life. I'm a doer of the word, and I experience victory and triumphs. In every aspect of my life, in Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, John 8, 31 and 32 says, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Next, we have Luke 9, verse 23. It says, And he said to them all, 
If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Wow. Finally, we have James 1, 22 to 25 of the NIV. It says, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intensely, hmm, intensely into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues, yes, continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. All saints, everything about Jesus is revealed in the word the pastor told us. He is the living word. So, we are following our master, Jesus.